Hey, it's Dr. Nissi, and in this one, I am going to try to answer the question, how long does weed, THC, marijuana stay in your system and can be detected on a urinalysis if you are a light user? And right away, so I don't waste anyone's time, I'm gonna define what a light user is. For the purpose of this video, a light user is gonna be anyone that uses THC marijuana up to two times per month. So if you use more frequently than that, then this is not the video for you. Check out my other videos on moderate or heavy users. And I'm also gonna put chapter links in the description so you can skip ahead to the testing times if you would like, but I would highly recommend not skipping ahead until I explain the variables that will help determine the testing times. All right, and just to be doubly clear, this video is about detection times in a urinalysis. I've done previous videos on saliva testing, blood testing, hair testing, if you're interested in anything other than the urine test and detection times for a urinalysis, please see one of those other videos. All right, so before I get all the way into it, if you could please just take one second to go down, click the like button. I'm trying to get this information out to as many people as possible. And clicking that thumbs up, that like button, really helps the YouTube algorithm show this to more people so they become informed as well. And if you are interested in drug testing related videos, pre-employment medical videos and updates, please stay subscribed to this channel whenever an update comes down from the F FMCSA or the federal government, I make an update video. So today I'm going to give you my best estimate for how long THC marijuana can be detected in a urinalysis, but please be aware that this is my best estimate and there is no way for me to give you exact testing times. So use this as information only, and as always, the best way to know if you are going to pass a drug test is to home test several times leading up to that official test. And I will leave a link in the description box below for my preferred home drug test. So how long THC marijuana is detectable on a urinalysis is dependent on a few different factors. How heavy, how frequently you use, your body fat percentage, how much body fat you are carrying around, and to a degree, your activity level. So in this video, we need to break individuals up into different groups based on their activity level, their body fat percentage, and how frequently they use. All right, so there are five light user types. Number one, the light user that is overweight and inactive, so no exercise, not the healthiest diet. And again, overweight means a high body fat percentage, so you may want to use a body fat percentage scale to determine this. Number two is the light user that's overweight but active, so exercises, tries to eat healthy. And again, regular exercise should help clear THC from your system a little quicker, but I highly recommend not beginning an exercise program just before a drug test, and I have done a separate video on why. Number three is the light user that is normal weight but inactive. Number four is the light user that's normal weight but exercises. And number five is the light user that's fit and exercises often. All right, so now we've got to talk some science, and these are facts that are going to be true for all user types. So when you smoke a joint or have about that much marijuana enter your system, your urine THC level will very quickly raise to 180 nanograms per milliliter. And I will link below the study where I'm getting this information. Since most urine tests look for a cutoff of 50 nanograms per milliliter, you will immediately test positive. Now, the THC half-life, that is the amount of time for the concentration to be cut in half, varies based on how heavy of a user you are, from one and a half days all the way up to seven days, depending on if you are a light, a moderate, or a heavy user. And this will be used in part to determine how long you will test positive. So to get under 50 nanograms per milliliter, in this case, you will need to take 180 divided by two gets you to 90 nanograms per milliliter, but that still will make you test positive. So you have to divide that in half again to get to 45 nanograms per milliliter under that 50 nanogram per milliliter cutoff. 
and that will take between three and 14 days, depending on, again, if you are a light, moderate, or a heavy user. And remember, because THC is fat soluble, it can be absorbed by body fat. So the more body fat you have, the more likely you are to be able to re-release THC in concentrations high enough for you to test positive for a longer period from when you stopped using. All right, so now I'm going to go through each different user type and give you my prediction for how long THC marijuana will be detectable on a urinalysis in each individual case. So once you know what type of user you are, feel free then to skip ahead to that section of the video. All right, so first up, the light user that's overweight and inactive. So here's Pauly. He smokes every other weekend after his gig. He doesn't get much exercise, and he's 5'10", 270 pounds. So if you're only using occasionally, the THC should be able to metabolize so that you test under the standard 50 nanogram per milliliter levels relatively quickly. Again, remember the half-life calculation. So it should be clear of your system in about three days. Give it four to be safe, but again, it can be stored in body fat tissue and released later. So the more fat tissue you have, the higher concentration that can be released into your bloodstream and then needs to be metabolized, unfortunately leading to the potential for your urine concentration to be tipped over that 50 nanogram per milliliter cutoff later on. So in Pauly's case, I would estimate that this type of user will test positive for just about a month after discontinuing use. Next up, the light user that is overweight but active. So here's Snooks. She smokes only on special occasions like trips to the beach. She enjoys working out and is five foot two, 195 pounds. So again, 180 nanograms per milliliter, that initial dose divided by two gets you to 90 nanograms per milliliter. Again, you have to divide that by two again to get to 45 nanograms per milliliter to be under the limit. So just about three days in a light user. Body fat will release THC, but if you are consistently active, you should release THC a little bit quicker leading to lower testing times. Estimate for Snooks is just under one month. Next, the light user that's normal weight but is inactive. So here's Ronnie. He smokes one to two times per month when he goes out clubbing. He doesn't get much activity. He's six foot, 185 pounds. So again, using the half-life calculation, 180, that initial dose, divide that in half to get to 90, divide it in half again to get to 45 nanograms per milliliter. That will take about three days in a light user, but we still need to factor in the stored THC in fat but because this user has less body fat, there's less chance that they will release enough THC into the bloodstream at one time to push the urine metabolites over the 50 nanogram per milliliter level. So my estimate for Ronnie is just under one month. Next up, the light user that's normal weight and has the advantage of being active. So here's Sitch. He smokes every other weekend before doing his laundry. He has a mostly sedentary job, but enjoys going to the gym after work. He's five foot five, 155 pounds. Again, the half-life calculation, 180 nanograms per milliliter, that initial dose. Divide that in half to get to 90. Divide it in half again to get to 45 nanograms per milliliter under that 50 nanogram per milliliter cutoff. That takes about three days in a light user. And being consistently active should help you metabolize quicker. Fat tissue will still store and release THC later in time, but the chance of being over that 50 nanogram per milliliter is less because he's a normal weight. So my estimate for Sitch is that he will test positive for about three weeks after stopping use. And last up, the light user that is fit and active. So here's Jenny. She smokes a couple times per month to help deal with stress of having her roommates. She's very active and participates in boxing classes. 
She's 5'4", 125 pounds. So this user has every advantage to test clean in the shortest period of time. Their half-life is the lowest because they're a light user, only three days. They have very little body fat, so the chance of them ticking back over the 50 nanogram per milliliter cutoff later in time is even less than a normal weight individual. And they exercise, so they release THC faster and quicker. So this will be the shortest testing window of all, but I would still conservatively say that she could test positive for up to one to two weeks. And that's it, short and sweet. I hope this video was helpful, useful, and informative. Stay subscribed here. And until next time, everybody, stay safe.